Bahrain, an island in the heart of the Arabian Gulf, where people were depending on fishing and finding pearls as a source of income. However, the discovery of the first oil well in the early 30s changed all of that, and the hidden pearl started taking serious steps to diversify its income. Bahrain took firm and steady steps forward with the National Action Charter, which was led by His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in order to make fundamental changes and increase productivity. And on the 14th of February of 2001, a new era began full of developments and achievements after 98.4% of the voters voted in favor of the Charter. The EDB has existed for 15 years. Um, chaired by His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince Sheikh Salman bin Hamid. Um, in, its, uh, in its initial phase, it acted as a advisor to the government in terms of uh, change, in terms of reform, uh, be it in education, um, in economic uh, development, in a number of areas. Um, most recently, His Royal Highness has uh, wanted the EDB to play an increased role in attracting foreign direct investment. And so the Economic Development Board of Bahrain today is uh, primarily tasked with attracting corporates all over the world in choosing Bahrain as a location in order to create jobs and in order to enhance the growth in the economy. So today the EDB acts as an investment promotion agency uh, for attracting FDI. Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 created an environment for entrepreneurs that ensures continuous development of the kingdom's economy and building a better life for every Bahraini. The Economic Development Board is considered a supporter to the growth of the economy through encouraging foreign investment. On the other hand, there's Temkin, an organization tasked with developing Bahrain's private sector and positioning it as the key driver of economic development while empowering Bahrainis to prosper and contribute to the national economy. Temkin is, is out there to uh, empower Bahrainis to prosper uh, as well as to contribute to the national economy and we believe uh, we, can, we can do that through our focus on developing Bahraini individuals uh, as well as uh, uh, turning the private sector into an engine of growth and therefore um, uh, support building the capabilities of private businesses in Bahrain. Um, the majority of the, out of the total number of employed in Bahrain, the, there are around 550,000 employees, expatriate employees in the labor market in Bahrain, uh, as opposed to 150 eight or hundred and sixty thousand Bahrainis. Now we'll be accurate in saying that most of the expatriate workforce are in uh, semi-skilled jobs. Uh, maybe lesser number are in skilled jobs and lesser number in, a prof in professional jobs. Whereas Bahrainis are the, the exact opposite. Whereas most of them occupy professional jobs and then uh, uh, a lesser number go into um, skilled jobs and lesser and lesser go into the semi-skilled. Bahrainis, uh, if, if they are provided with the right skills and learning and uh, being developed and mentored properly, they will demonstrate hard work, dedication and uh, efficiency. Education and industry together are the main engine of any society in the world. The discovery of the first oil well led Bahrain to become very active in various fields. This includes oil industry, aluminum and petrochemicals. All of that played an essential role in economic growth. You ask any individual, investor, corporate or a citizen of the country, what is the strength of Bahrain? Uh, I'm sure in nine, ten, nine, nine out of ten times they will say it's people. Human capital is our strength. His Royal Highness conducted a workshop ten years ago in which uh, multiple stakeholders were invited and in which a number of initiatives were identified in order to enhance our education system. And um, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak uh, Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister, um, has led for the last number of years, 
uh, a council, Supreme Education Council, to enact and implement these initiatives. And these initiatives have included the creation of the Polytechnic uh, University. It has included the creation of the National Vocational uh, and Quality Assurance uh, Institute, which looks at quality standards in education. It has involved also the Bahrain uh, Teachers College. What is need is the, uh, in the industry is uh, the vocational practices and learning, uh, which is provided by vocational institutes uh, and, of co and course technical uh, institutes as well. Uh, we can see that uh, the gap is, slo is slowly or slightly uh, closing uh, the link between the, the education and uh, the, the education and the industry and the market, uh, the labor market needs. تسعى البحرين بوليتكنيك في المستقبل القريب إلى الحصول على الاعتماد الأكاديمي المؤسسي من قبل الجهات المعنية في مملكة البحرين والاعتماد الأكاديمي لكافة برامجها سواء المحلي منه أو العالمي وقد قطعت البحرين بوليتكنيك شوط طويل جدا في البلوغ هذا الهدف كما تسعى البحرين بوليتكنيك إلى ضمان وجود شهادات احترافية في كافة برامجها الأكاديمية بما يضمن حصول طالب البحرين بوليتكنيك قبل تخرجه ليس فقط على شهادة التخصص ولكن الشهادات الاحترافية المتعارف عليها في سوق العمل لكي تسهل مهمة الخريج عند الالتحاق أو البحث عن العمل أو الالتحاق بالعمل بأن يكون هو حاصل على المؤهل المطلوب والشهادات الاحترافية. Going back years before now, I think Bahrain has been known for, you know, if, if there was any real capital that this country depended on, it has always been its human capital. Um, and by that, we have to make reference to all the success stories. Bahrainis have historically and successfully worked across the Gulf. Bahrain's financial sector became well-developed and diversified, consisting of a wide range of financial institutions that have been supported by an open market economy. This economy is changing due to an educated workforce where education plays a major role in changing the citizens' perspective on the different means of income which encourages entrepreneurship. This led to diversification of goods and services in the local market and pushed members of the younger generation to take their first steps towards the establishment of their own businesses. لأنه قد هيئت له الظروف لأن يكون كفاء التعليم ساهم في هذا الأمر من خلال وجود قسم تجاري متخصص يعنى بالأمور المالية والمصرفية وكذلك وجود مؤسسات تعليمية أسستها المصارف مع مصرف البحرين المركزي بحرين has done a a wonderful job of diversifying its economy over the last 15 years. Led by reforms by His Majesty, Bahrain has increased the participation of the non-oil sector, or the contribution of the non-oil sector, from 60% in 2000 to 80% at the end of 2014. Today, we have um, a well-diversified economy, I would say one of the most diversified economies in the, in the region. And I think that if we again look at how do we continue that diversification, how can Bahrain continue to grow, education plays a critical role. Any economy in the world today, as we move into a knowledge and innovation driven world, where services rather than manufacturing is becoming more dominant, it's driven by human capital. It's driven by the ability for any country to have an educated, productive, and trainable workforce. And so, if we look at our ability as a country to continue to compete, to continue to grow, it will be critical for us to have an educated, uh, innovative, and motivated workforce. And I think the education sector and the reform of the education sector is critical for our economic development strategy. The, the job market requires more than a degree. So it is not enough in a society to have a university and to have people with university degrees. We require people to um, graduate with qualifications, but also with some skills to be able to do the job 
jobs that they are recruited for either immediately or after a little bit of training. So it is essential to bear in mind that um, hands-on experience is very important. ستستمر البحرين بوليتكنيك في بذل المزيد من الجهود لتحقيق الهدف الرئيسي من إنشائها كما أن هي تستمر في بذل الجهود للربط ما بين التعليم وما بين القطاع الصناعي ومصرف في المملكة البحرين بما يعود بالخير على مملكة البحرين وعلى الاقتصاد الوطني Bahrain Polytechnic provided me with the, with the perfect platform for me to start my own business where I first learned how to draft the business plan and then I, I was given the opportunity to try a bit of my business like as part of my industry project. Being um, informed about entrepreneurship started actually from the Polytechnic also. Um, because Polit the Bahrain Polytechnic did a lot of uh, events with, with entrepreneurship they brought different uh, organizations that take care of the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs. So it started for me thinking about, okay, I'm, I really like this work. I don't want to do my own thing. So it, it, it just happened. It just clicked. So I couldn't wait to graduate to start this. Bahrain Polytechnic was established to address the need for a skilled Bahraini labor force where professional and technically qualified graduates will be work ready, confident, aware of what is expected of them in the professional world and able to perform to their full potential. يعني الاحصاءات مشجعه جدا على ان فد تكنيك البحرين خريجيها مطلوبين من سوق العمل الغالبيه العظمى منهم يوظفوا في المجالات التي تم تخريجهم فيها وهي جامعه تحتاج كل الدعم لانها جامعه مهمه للمملكه. We'll be right in saying that the introduction or the opening of the Bahrain Polytechnic in 2008 uh, when it was incepted, I think we'll be right in saying that it was uh, a strategic decision that was taken at the right time. رؤيه البوليتكنيك تتلخص في ان تكون مؤسسه تعليم عالي تطبيقي ذات مستوى عالمي. وأن يكون خريجيها قادرين على الالتحاق مباشرة بسوق العمل ومسلحين بالمهارات المطلوبة لسوق العمل والتي تسمى أو تعرف اليوم بمهارات القرن الواحد والعشرين وتحرص البوليتكنيك أن تكون من ضمن رؤيتها ومن ضمن رسالتها أن يكون خريجيها قادرين على الالتحاق ليس في السوق المحلية فحسب ولكن الالتحاق بسوق العمل في المنطقة وكذلك في دول العالم in a giving country and a generous land, Bahrain has provided its citizens with an economic vision and an environment that empowers, supports, and improves to build a better and brighter future. Because Bahrain always strives for the best.